Hello, and welcome to TechBoost TV. Today, I'm going to show you how to install hard drives and solid state drives into an HP Z6 G4 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and making sure the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you may need a Phillips set screwdriver. The Z6 G4's basic configuration has two 3.5 inch hot swap hard drive bays and two internal 5.25 inch bays. Each bay can be used for one 3.5 inch drive or one 2.5 inch SSD with the proper adapter. The motherboard also has two slots for M.2 NVMe drives. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. To access the drive bays, you will have to begin by removing the side panel. To do this, open the latch and find the 3.5 inch trays near the front of the system. Remove the tray from the system by depressing the latch and pulling the tray outwards. Place the hard drive in the tray like so, and ensure each of the four pins finds their way to the retaining holes on the sides of the hard drive. Once properly mounted, the hard drive will be flush with the tray, and you can plug the drive into the drive bay. Next, find the data and power cables attached to the motherboard and connect them to the drive. If you're installing an SSD, the process is the same, but you will need a drive bay converter to mount into the 3.5 inch tray. You will need to install the SSD into the retention pins. If you are installing an M.2 NVMe drive, ensure you have the proper heatsink. Place the drive into the carrier and secure the heatsink using the clips on the side. To install an M.2 NVMe drive, begin by locating the M.2 PCIe slots on the motherboard. Next, place the M.2 drive into the matching slot and use a Phillips head screwdriver to attach the drive to the board. Lastly, reattach the side panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, RAM, hard drive, and video card installations, as well as general product overviews for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy requesting more content.